Hello, my name is Blake Bettner, and this is A Week in Watches, episode 32. A weekly look back at all the watches, news, and stories from the industry. This week's episode is brought to you by the Wind Up Watch Shop, the retail arm of Worn and Wound. The Wind Up Watch Shop is an authorized retailer of over 25 watch brands and so much more. Stay tuned a little bit later in the show. We'll talk a little bit more about Wind Up Watch Shop. This week, we're leading things off with LVMH Watch Week, uh, which started in Singapore. We got new releases from Tag Heuer, from Zenith, and from from Hublot, everybody's favorite. First, let's talk about Tag Heuer though. We got a really cool watch from them. It's an Aqua Racer Solar Graph. This is a solar powered Aqua Racer in a full titanium case and bracelet. The solar powered movement was developed with Le Joux Pere. This Aqua Racer nails the design. Really subtle pattern on the dial and the loom is two different colors. Overall, really cool watch from Tag Heuer. Really hoping we can get our hands on one of those sometime soon. And at $3,000 won't entirely break the bank, um, but on the other hand, it's a $3,000 solar watch, so. They've also introduced a new take on the Monza chronograph. Uh, really like this case shape. It's kind of a cushion square somewhere in there. This is a flyback chronograph. No throwback components uh, here at all, though. This is kind of an open face dial. Lots of primary colors at play here. And uh, in case you forget it's a flyback, it's actually labeled flyback uh, in one of the subdials. Ironically, the subdial that that label is placed is within the running second sand uh, removed from the timing function of the watch. But it's a pretty crazy watch from Tag. Overall, I like seeing them do new things like this, so have at it. Finally, they're also celebrating the 60th anniversary of the Carrera Chronograph, and they've come out with a new limited edition that's a silver panda dial. Really beautiful, still has the fully polished steel case that we've seen on other recent Carrera models. Overall, really handsome watch, uh, love this thing. Will we see a similar take from Rolex when they celebrate the 60th anniversary of the Daytona later this year? We'll see. Moving on to everybody's favorite, Hugh Blow. Uh, Hugh Blow is dipping right back into the 80s with a new collection of classic fusion original watches. These are unmistakably Hugh Blow, and they very much fall into the love it or hate it realm. There are three different case materials here. Classic yellow gold, of course, there's a black ceramic, uh, and there's also a titanium uh, gray models. I really love that each of these are offered in three different sizes, 33 millimeters, 36 millimeters, and 42 millimeters. I would love to see other brands take a similar approach. So there's a classic fusion for every wrist, which is always a good thing. This watch is pure 80s throwback, and uh, you can throw around porthole case inspiration shade all you want. Uh, probably deserves a little bit of it, but unmistakably Hublot, and it's recognizable for what it is from across any room. Hublot also released a pair of colorful new additions to their Big Bang collections, and they are big on personality. They've got translucent yellow cases. Yes, tourbillons, yeah. Uh, rainbow dials and camo patterns. It's all there. If you like the big personality, if you blow Big Bang watches, uh, these will be right up your alley. Before we move ahead, let's get a quick word from our sponsor, windupwatchshop.com. At windupwatchshop.com, you'll find a broad selection of watches and watch accessories, all focused on great design and great value. From young hands and the elegant Max Bill line to hardcore G-Shocks, all the new stuff from Oris. There's likely a watch for you. If you're not looking for a watch though, we still got you covered. The straps of all kind, including Italian and American-made leather straps and adapt American-made nylon mill straps and much more. We've also got travel pouches and storage solutions uh, such as rolls and tubes for when you're on the go and rugged tool watch boxes for your home. I keep my own watches in one of those things. I love them. We've also got strap changing tools, general EDC stuff from pens to pocket knives and flashlights, all available in the same shop. Check it all out at windupwatchshop.com and follow all the latest news on Instagram at Wind up watch shop. And finally, from LVMH Watch Week, we have new releases from Zenith. Zenith released a slew of new watches within their Skyline collection, uh, including a smaller 36 millimeter variant uh, with some lovely new dial colors. So uh, if you found the other one a little bit too big from last year, a little too spastic with that really fast seconds hand running, uh, this smaller one ditches that uh, and it should be a lot more wearable in the process. We'll get our hands on one of those pretty soon. If you prefer your Skyline full flavor, uh, they also have a new skeletonized version of the watch that does retain that quick second hand. If all that crazy stuff from LVMH Watch Week just isn't cutting it for you, there's also a new release from Oris. Oris released a new movement this week, the Caliber 473, and they placed it within a big crown pointer date with a beautiful blue teal kind of dial. <laughs> uh, the movement itself though is a hand wound, a five day movement that has a power reserve indication on the back of the watch. So you can wind it 
see where you're at on the back and uh, you're good to go. So uh, this is a beautiful watch. It also comes on their sustainable leather strap, uh, which works quite well. Uh, I'm really excited to see what new watches this movement might also go into. If you like the classic big crown pointer date design, you'll love this watch. It is 38 millimeter steel case uh, and it's priced a little over $4,000. We've got much more on that watch on morningwild.com right now. And that does it for episode 36 of A Week in Watches. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to the sponsor, Wind Up Watch. Shop.com. Go check it out if you need any straps, watches, anything like that. Be sure to catch us next week, and thank you for tuning in to this episode.